Hi. In a few weeks, I'm uh, going to be re-establishing a class that I've done for years and learned how to do uh, uh, called Time and Money. And the, the fun thing about the class is we, we design it around you. Uh, what is it that when you're doing it, time and money are abundant? Okay? Um, what I mean by that is there are things that when you're doing it, uh, first of all, if you didn't get paid, you would be f that would be fine because you're having so much fun. But you've got to realize that there are some people living your dream, and it's not their dream, it's your dream, and making a bundle of money doing it. And the two illusional relative abstracts in the title of that class are time and money. Money is an illusion. Uh, if you look realistically at it, the more you have, the more zeros you have. Okay? You have one and then ten dollars. It's ten dollars. But if you put a zero on the end, that's a hundred. If you put another zero, that's not. See what I mean? It's by it's by zeros that this uh, abstract increases. And then they're printing money. At a, I mean, Ben Bernanke, Helicopter Ben, prints money just to do it, just to. And he thinks that that's going to solve something by creating more pieces of paper with presidents' names on it. But, but the class is designed to look at some of the enculturated beliefs you have around time and money. Time is a limited quantity. You have this lifetime, as far as I know. There's possibility of other lifetime and possibilities of eternity and stuff like that. But as far as I know, this current incarnation to me has a certain amount of time. I know I have less time on the planet than I have spent on the planet, or I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, I'm 58. Uh, Grandma lived to be 101. And so if you double my, see what I mean, Sam, I've, there's, I've spent more time on the planet than I have. And time, as you know, is relative. It, it can race sometimes, sometimes it can drag. It's, it's this relative thing. And so we look at the relativity of time, we look at the illusion of money, and then we look at, as, at what is it that when you're doing it, that both those serve you. That money is not a concern. Money is an object. Money is a currency. Uh, money is a current that flows. If you're in the current, most people I've said for years are in the current of money. And they're in their canoe paddling so hard upstream that they forget all they have to do is drag their paddle for an instant, turn that canoe 180 degrees, just start scooping that money into their canoe. Okay? It's a matter of perspective, a matter of what how do you look at it, and then how is it that you see that money works? I'm not saying it's necessarily creative. What I'm saying is, is that if you can see what is it, it is that when you're doing it, you would do it even without money, then we can look at the, some of the things that you have looked at that keep you from earning money and having all the time and money that you want. Uh, Abraham Maslow talks about a concept of self-actualization. He says you have to overcome your enculturated views in order to live in self-actualization. And we have so many around these two abstracts, time and money, that we have workbooks and have you look at them to see just where are you stuck within the parameters of this. Look forward to talking to you soon. Have fun. Bye.